Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 76. So today's episode, guys, I'm going to show you how to locate the Adobe Application Manager for CS5 and CS6. Uh, I believe locating the Adobe Application Manager f is the same way uh, on CS6. So don't quote me on that. I got to I got to do some testing on that. Okay. So the whole purpose of the Adobe Application Manager is a an, an application or utility within Adobe that allows you to update all your applications. Sometimes the, the manager doesn't automatically come up, so that's when you need to like kick it to you know kick it in the butt and hey and tell it hey wake up and update my software. Now I'm gonna actually tell you I'm gonna show you guys two tricks. One how to start it up and two how to suppress it. Now the suppression part is mostly for the IT people and if the IT department likes to push out updates to their Adobe products through ARD or some other way um, you need to actually put this dot DAT file in a certain location so first thing I'm going to show you guys is lo kick starting the the manager so you're gonna go to library application support Adobe and you're gonna actually locate the OOBE folder PD app core and there it goes now I already double clicked it because it, it normally takes a while so it's actually right here when it loads up it basically gives you a rundown of all the applications that you have on your machine gives you what kind of updates I haven't updated this for a while uh, because the reason it was for suppressed uh, so you click on update you're good to go okay now let's say you want to suppress this uh, let's say you're creating an image um, and you want to suppress the update so the end user don't constantly get the little dialog box at the very top of the taskbar indicating that updates needs to be pushed out so the way to do that is you want to create a DAT file you can actually open up on text edit or text wrangler or whatever you want and within there you want to you want to actually want to enter this information okay and once you enter that information, you save it as a DAT. Uh, make sure that you save the file as an Adobe Updater Admin Prefs. Okay, save it as that with a DAT f extension. And then what you want to do is you want to go into AAM Updater Inventory, which is located inside the Applications Library, Applications, Adobe. AAM updater inventory 1.0 and you want to drop it in here okay so I'm just gonna see if I could just drop it in no nope, I want to drop it in that folder drop it right in there there you go now fold the file is in there so I want to show you guys what what's really happening with that file so let's go back into application support Adobe let's go back into that O O B E PDA app go to core and double click on this and see what happens when you when I open up the application it updates are disabled and that's about it guys uh, I will place all this information right below the video on the, on the description part uh, please give me thumbs up if you guys enjoy the video as well comment as well at the very top right there this is, there is a subscribe button please hit the subscribe button um, if you want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on software and hardware and I catch you guys later thank you so much subscribe thank you